Hey, what's up guys? Tetrak here. I just wanted to give you an update to uh, Steam Controller config I've been using um, compared to the last one I had up. The other one I had up was based more on the controller layup, layout that a console would have, like an Xbox or PlayStation. And although I really didn't enjoy playing that way, the more I started using the Steam Controller, the more I... I realized how versatile it is and the things you could really do with it to make it your own. So I decided to make this video to not tell you that this is the best way that Diablo or any other action RPG, although I have been using this setup in Path of Exiles and uh, Heroes of the Storm, um, at least they're all very similar that ju I just want this to kind of give you an idea of what you can do and the possibilities and maybe you guys could learn a, a trick or two that might help you out in developing your own config. Um, I will try to put this up in the Steam uh, community so if somebody wants to give it a go they can. So first off I want to tell you that I'm using the accelerometer um, as for mouse control so up and down left and right. I found that it's really accurate um, as opposed to the thumb pads. I, I know you keep good with the thumb pads, but you know, just being able to use the accelerometer in it, having it set up to m maneuver the mouse around feels good. There are a little uh, couple caveats to this. Um, first off, uh, a known issue for the accelerometer is the drift. So your mouse will start drifting off in a direction for some reason. And uh, from what I've read on the forums and in doing some research is it's just a thing. I mean, until they come out with the Steam Controller 2 that might have like some better tech in it. This is something that I think everybody's got to kind of deal with, especially if you use like me. I use the always on accelerometer. Um, it seems to be a little worse than other in, in some cases. Uh, what happens is, I think what happens at least, is when you whip whipping the controller around to use it, um, the accelerometer gets confused or whatever and it starts doing a drift. So like right now, I don't know, if, I'll sh let's see if I can uh, show you, I think it might even have a drift right now. No, it doesn't. Um, but the quick fix is you just set the controller down like on your coffee table or something flat wherever you're using it and because I sit on my couch I just put it on the table for four seconds doesn't take long resets the accelerometer and then you just pick it up and start playing again and you'll see it stops moving um, so that is the quick fix and I mean I've heard people say calibrate it by going into your steam settings um, it fixes it but it always comes back so that's one thing that you have to kind of deal with. Um, but if your your actions are smooth and it's not real fast, um, you know, like what I'm saying is like you're just twisting it in weird ways. Like the accelerometer seems to stay on pretty well. The other thing is um, sometimes your hands get in some weird positions and you're playing and you're like you want to adjust them back to normal. So if like I'm over here, my controller might be pointing off to the right, I'm not just saying, like really weird. So um, I did a little thing uh, looking, I saw some videos and people using action sets to basically click a button, hold a button to turn the accelerometer off and then uh, adjusting it and then releasing the button to go back into accelerometer mode where you, your gyro is active again, your mouse is active. So that was cool, but the way I use the controller um, for movement, I'll show you real quick uh, here, is I use the um, soft pull action for movement, the period. So as I'm clicking on the ground or holding it, my character's following, right? Um, and then I wanted the pull pull um, to be the uh, action set, right? Which would switch and turn the accelerometer off. 
problem is, is it would get stuck in full pull in like the action set sometimes and then I have to click it again which would be really awkward because I might be in the middle of combat and all of a sudden I can't move my mouse you know so that wasn't working too well now if I had set it like on a different button like my my back button or you know one of my grips or something that I wasn't using the trigger it would be fine you know it just seemed to be working okay but the fact that I was using it the way I want to use it is on my pull pull it just didn't do it right so um so what I had to do is inside the uh, the mouse here Typically, when you hold the trigger on, it enables the gyro, right? Or whatever you set this to is going to enable the gyro. Some people have it on the thumb pads, you know, so when they're moving with their thumb pad, it also, the gyro comes on. Um, but mine's always active. And how you do that is you go to these um, additional settings. And here, down on gyro behavior, Whenever I hit that button, instead of turning it on, it turns it off. So it's always active until I full pull, then it deactivates it, right? Um, so right now it's always active, then I full pull, and you can see the mouse isn't moving or jittering or anything. That's because it is currently not active on. So it allows me to adjust my controller and then release it, and I'm back. So this has been the best way to do that. And so if I need to, you, you get used to it. Uh, making the adjustments on the fly and it doesn't affect your gameplay too much I mean you get really quick at it um, the other thing I did was to make this work even work better was uh, I assigned on the full pool an empty um, key which in Diablo the comma is not being used so I assigned it that and the reason I did that was because I want to do a hip fire normal what that allows me to do is basically when I quick click fist fast enough on the trigger, it doesn't activate the movement, so my die stays still. So I can just go, it bypasses the soft pull and goes directly to the full pull. Because I don't want him moving sometimes when I'm adjusting my, my controller, you know. So if you don't do that, the hip fire, it's on, you know, hair trigger. Your guy's going to move while you're adjusting. And I, yeah, it just doesn't, it, I didn't like that. So it's it's kind of personal preference on that. But yeah, the fact that it does that. And I've been noticing, I've been using that trick on a lot of like top down. It really helps. Um, the uh, On the left trigger um, is heal. And soft pull is basically a modifier for other buttons. So if I want to bypass the soft pull, I got again hit fire. So it bypasses and does the heal. I don't have to worry about it doing my modifiers, right? Uh, so the modifier on the left, basically, if I'm holding the soft pull, it slows my mouse down, right? And that is in the mouse settings here. Um, you can turn that stuff on. To where uh, it dampens the mouse right here, left trigger soft pull. You can change that to whatever you want, um, and then adjust accordingly how you like it. Uh, I found that seemed like the best spot for me right there, so that's what I'm using. Right, uh, smoothing um, on the gyro. I crank that up so it doesn't. Uh, it feels a little bit more controlled. Um, the acceleration here uh, basically is how fast the mouse moves according to how fast you move the controller so if i if i wanted to move really quickly across the screen you see how fast that i mean i'm just, i'm barely moving it's like whipping across the screen right and then if i hold the dampener i can it basically slows it down so i could you could play this way i guess and get used to it i just happen to like the uh medium better sensitivity since it's on medium i crank this up a little bit um to help but, you know, you could keep it at normal, you know. Um, I was messing around with a couple other games on these gyro leans. Uh, you could put health where you just lean it left and it uh, it activates that. And you can, you can mess with that if you want. Um, but this is a lean point, so maybe you don't want it to be so sensitive. You crank it up a little bit and the sensitivity on that lean point so that way it doesn't always go off, you know. Um, 
you could do that if you wanted to, but I don't use that right now. Um, so I'll just go ahead and give an example. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to open inventory of the clean. Oops. Gyro. Right. Gyro left with inventory. Um, so I'm just pulling up Did you forget on my uh, no. right fact, side to get the and it opens inventory. On the this is gyro lean. Um, and you can, like I said, you can adjust the sensitivity on that. Um, so like that's how I got the gyro set up and, and, you know, uh, to help with the mouse stamping. That's what I use on this side as a modifier, the soft pull. Also, the soft pull does a modifier for uh, other things here. For instance, um, if I want to select something, because right now if I right trigger on this bench, it, nothing's happening, right? I'm soft pulling on it. Nothing's happening because that's my move button, right? Um, so left clicking on this, I basically what I do is I hold the right trigger, I mean the left soft pull, and then I click the right soft pull and it opens it up. So basic, I know it seems kind of odd, but it works for me. Like I said, steam controller, set up however you want. I'm just giving some ideas out there. So I'm soft pulling and it opens this up, right? Um, so if I want to do, um, go to my, activate this, uh, go to chest. I'm just holding the left soft pull and then right soft pulling and it changes whatever that button normally do, does, which is movement. So that was, an, that's one of the modifiers. The other modifier is, is sometimes, um, I want to, I want to, you know, salvage these items one at a time and coming up, you know, yeah, I can come up and click it. It doesn't, but you can actually set up kind of like a macro to do this really quick. And so if I soft pull on the left trigger, right. And I have set to my left thumb pad. If I hit down, you see how it changed real quickly. So I have it to where it automatically change, jumps back and then jumps back and forth. So I can easily do that. And while my soft pulls on, since my soft pulls on anyways, I right, right click on it and it destroys it, right? Um, I have um, them all set up for you know, break all the normal items, break all the magic items, and break all the rare items. So I'll give you an example. To break all the rare items, I'm going to soft pull on the left, and then hit left on the thumb pad. Um, so it opens it up. Do I want to do this? Uh, no, I don't want to do that right now. But you see how I put it on OK? So I can do it real quick. Um, so I have them all set up that way. The white is, uh, blue is up right um and then the white is uh left yellow is right that's right yellow is right so um and let me show you real quick how that is done so in mode shift left trigger soft pull um you can change that here to whatever you want i have it set i have that thumb pad which is the left thumb pad set up as buttons right so uh first off you're going to do a, a regular press new cursor and you come over here click on this and right up there where um this cursor is you're going to move it over where you want it and hit okay and then remain in a new position the second thing you're going to step is you're going to add an activator right and you're going to go regular plus you want this to activate it right you want your left mouse on it so it's going to do the left mouse on that to make activate it and you have to set the fire delay at least four four clicks so one two three four and it's ready to go right the third you're going to add another activator which would be the third one this is to move it back over there right so you're going to do another move cursor, but on this one, you're going to do release press. So when you release your thumb off, it's going to activate it. Found this the best way to work. Um, and then your fire delay is going to be eight clicks away from the beginning. So, or at least seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then uh, move cursor, do that. 
you can see where my cursor is set over here right now. You can put it in the middle if you want. It's up to you. I have it set up in this corner, right? Hit A and remain in your position. So now when I do everything, um, go back. I hold the activator, which is gonna, or the, the modifier, the loss, left soft pull, and then I hit down on my thumb pad, and you see how it activates it. Okay. And so I set everyone up for that too. So um, this right here, basically, instead of the ma mouse ending over here, it ends up right here, all right, which is on the OK. So do exactly the same thing for these, and then you have it. You have it all set up. Really, really cool. Makes it uh, a lot faster, quicker um, to do it that way than to have them go back and forth, right? I'm sure, you know, with the mouse, it's not too bad. Mouse and keyboard's not bad, but man, this makes it so much easier. Um, so that's how I have the uh, modifier set up for the button pad. And then I have a, a scroll. So, um, if I want to scroll through something, um, I just, you know, scroll, uh, spin my thumb in a circle around that thumb pad and moves it up and down. Uh, don't use it too often, but it's there if I need it. Radio menu, I have this set up for inventories and stuff like that. This is what I was using, you know, most, most of the time and, you know, you get used to it. So if you see there, I can spin my thumb around down here and open certain things so if i want to teleport which i can't, I do, can't here, do that here i just hit push my thumb down right uh open the paragon menu um skills you know map uh, journal map right um my uh, back button is for the map right and um you know, holding that left soft trigger and then grabbing it with my right trigger moves it around. Um, so that's what I have this set up for right here. Uh, the, what is it? Um, the buttons are set up as my attacks, you know, one, two, and three, your abilities. And then I have shift left mouse that, that allows him to, um, basically not move and use his vulnerability freely without having to target somebody, All right? So that's pretty nice. Then I have on my left grip is my other ability. You can move those around to your liking. Um, then the right thumb pad I have set up uh, I just recently did this to open things fairly not quickly. Here. One of my the, things I use the most, right? Um, so I just, and I have it to where it's not button click. You just tap it with your thumb. You don't have to press down on it to get it to activate. Um, I find that works out really well in a lot of games. Um, so it's kind of up to you. Steam controller has so many things that you can do. It's all personal preference. Uh, just, you know, I just hope that you guys can glean something from this and uh, use it in one of your setups. I will put this, like I said, up in the Steam config. So if you guys want to give it a try to see uh, to see how well it works, maybe you can find something you like out of it and take it with you. Um, the right grip is four. I have it on here too. I, I, I was using primarily on my right bumper, but I put it here to give it a try, you can pretty much do anything. Escape, um, escape uh, on this, and if long press shows keyboard. So um, if I want, I can long press, and uh, Steam keyboard comes up, and I can start, you know, chatting here. So um, I might change it. See, it's using the my thumb pad to type, so I'm gonna have to do something with that. Maybe deactivate it somehow. I'll mess with that, but it's possible to uh, to to do that. I just gotta mess with it. So let's give you a little show of action here. How this might uh, work? 
show you show it to you in action. Prove yourself All right. worthy. So um teleport. Uh we got that. that way. And I'm I'm using my gyro thing off to turn it off and you're probably not even noticing it. I must wait longer. Didn't see that coming, did you? Need more time. Always wanted to fight some of these. Still waiting. I need healing. Oh, I died. Man, I got a little caught up there. But um, basically, that gives you an idea of the possibilities. You can make sure you're around. Yeah, you know, it's not good to die. Oh well. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to give this a try. Definitely recommend at least, you know, expanding your mind if you haven't tried the gyro. Really enjoy it. That's about it, guys. All right, guys, have a good one. Hope this helps you create your own customized version of a controller setup. Gives you some cool little tricks, all right? Have a good one. Oh.